Hello, what's up? Nick Green Living here, and today I just wanted to talk with you about math for a few minutes. If you saw my last upload here to YouTube, you saw that I showed you guys what my um, math living books looked like, and you saw what some of my math games are. You saw most of them. There was about four that I was missing. So today I thought I would bring you along um, to kind of do a chit chat about what my math currently looks like, what it's looked like in the past, and what it may or may not look like in the future. So just my math overall. Um, this is my first time doing this kind of video, but I'm excited nonetheless. So um, good morning everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I am Ethnic Green Living. I am a homeschooling, working mommy of five who's doing her best to live a green, clean life as much as possible, giving um, more than taking, reducing, reusing, recycling. Um, I'm plant-based and I do a lot with a little on a budget and we love to read and so that is the focal point of our homeschool. Um, and of course, everything is better together. So, my oldest is 12, and then I have a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. So we're not gonna talk about the two and the four-year-old in this video. We're just gonna talk about the 12, nine, and six-year-old. And I'm gonna take you back to the start. From the very beginning, I have always used Horizons. Horizons math, and I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, it's been my favorite uh, math curriculum um, to date. We did try teaching textbooks and my oldest did not like it at the time. Um, doesn't mean, but I did keep it because it didn't mean that my other children wouldn't. It just meant that it was not a good fit for him. And I also saw ways that you could cheat the system. Um, if you clicked on it enough, it will give you the hints and answers. Um, so I have just always loved Horizons and I have homeschooled um, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. So this is my seventh year. I've used Horizons predominantly um, all those times. Here's the deal though. Horizons ends in sixth grade. And so at that point it's like, what do you do? What do you do? What do I do? And so that's where I have found myself right now, just in the middle of this homeschool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me be me. So, upon talking to lots and lots of people, they rant and rave about this Saxon math. And so I thought, well, since Saxon does go all the way up to, um, since Saxon does go all the way um, up into 12th grade and people rant and rave on it, this is the, um, a lot of people that do classical conversation use this and just a lot of um, homeschoolers that I know use this and recommend this. And I know that the children um, just in 12th grade um, in a higher math level because of this program so I've been told I got Saxon for my um, first grader I got it for my third grader his was not in his drawer when I look for it this morning and because it is early I just decided just not even to get it for the video but um, I'm not happy at all with Saxon math like I think I've only shared one negative thing on my channel in three years and that was the produce box that I thought costed more than it was worth but honestly I'm not impressed and I'm not thrilled and I don't like Saxon math at all I just don't um I would prefer if Horizons could just go all the way to 12th grade but they don't and so I am just that's where I am that's where I am so um I think that what I'm gonna do is continue um, on with Saxon only because it does like I said go all the way up to the 12th grade and um, I am not the type of person to put together my own math curriculum 
I'm just not, that's not my calling. That's not my gift. And so I want to stay in my lane, you know? And so that's what I'm doing. So I will be using a curriculum for math. Now, um, let me show you something. If you, this is my one of my homeschool rooms shelf behind me. And so right here, I've got some horizons and I've got my um, teacher's manuals and I have all of my living books right here. Um, so I do have, you know, games and books and things. Again, if you missed my last haul, check that out, um, that I use to make it fun and to add to it and to do my own thing. But again, a curriculum just works best for me. Having one that's laid out there that I can just follow. Um, so what we have used in the past has been Horizons. What we're using currently is Saxon. Um, if I could have things my way, I would just stick with um, Horizons until they reach sixth grade again and then just transition them right on over to Saxons until they are um, done with the program. I will say, for my um, sixth grader, something that's really awesome is that they have, that I paid a little bit extra and I got the CD. And so with the CD, he's able to kind of um, walk along the instructor. And so I just think that's really cool. So I don't even know if you guys like this kind of video or not, but I just wanted to share, since I shared the games, like I said, um, and the books, I just wanted to go ahead and show you the um, the meaty part of our math and our homeschool and just what it looks like. And so um, if you enjoy seeing inside of our homeschool a little bit more, then let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Um, and tell me what videos you guys want to see. I was thinking about um, next going ahead and doing um, maybe grammar I was thinking about doing either grammar or history slash geography or science I can do either one of those um, because I have shelves that I have all of my games um, and things on so anyway I have a question for you guys I want to know what math you are using in your homeschool and is there anybody who has loved and used horizons um, who needed to switch once horizons ended and if so what did you switch to all right guys well remember you can do a lot with a little i appreciate you taking the time to watch this i hope that you're having a wonderful and incredible day whatever it is that you're doing just be encouraged and know that you're doing and giving your best if you are giving and doing your best and if you're not giving and doing your best, just know that it's not too late um, to try again and to have a fresh start. So if you need to today, pull out those games and snuggle up together with a blanket and read a book, get you some hot tea, hot cocoa, and really just love on your kitties and love on yourself. Be gracious to yourself today. And then tomorrow you can start all over with a fresh slate, a fresh start. It's never too late to be who you want to be. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I will see you soon. And until then, as I always say, blessings.